is simple two commands only configuring MPLS but in backend there are a lot of processes are going on so once you can enable MPLS it automatically enable the LDP protocol so the expansion of LDP is an label distribution protocol here we can see each and every router I am configuring MPLS it automatically forms the neighbor relationship LDP so the neighboring router and it will showing up okay now we can stop the capture so in Wireshark we can capture R1 to R2 traffic R2 to R3 traffic and R3 to R4 and R4 to R5 so all this traffic we can stop capturing <coughs> stop capturing stop capturing okay <coughs> now so in R1 router in global mode just I will assign the label range so in R1 router 1000 to 1099 in R2 router the label ranges so here the label ranges for R1 router is 1000 to 1099 99. next in R2 router the label ranges <coughs> 2000 to 2099 in R3 router the label ranges 3000 to 3099 in R4 router the label ranges 4000 to 4099 in RPI router, the label range is 5000 to so 599. Now, so after configuring MPLS, the R1 router will check its direct connector network. So, in direct connector network, it will not assign any labels. So, in R1 router, just I will give the label range as 1000 to 1099. So, in R1 router, each and every indirect connector network it will assign the label locally it will start from 1000 because i will assign the label range as 1000 to 1199 if i am not assigning label range means it will start from 16 16 to 10 lakhs 48575 so the label is locally generated so in r1 router the indirect connector network here so in R1 router, <coughs> indirect connector network. So show IP route. So here this O, this all O indicates indirect connector network because through the OSPF protocol only we can learn this network. So the MPLS label should be assigned only to non-indirect connector network. So direct content network it will not assign any labels. So here the indirect content network is 2, 3, 4, then <coughs> 20, 30 and 40 series. Okay. So first of all in 2 to 2 it will assign the label as 1000 and 333 it will assign label as 1001 and 4 it will assign the label range as 1002 and <coughs> then 20 it will assign the label range as 1003 and 1004 and 1005 likewise it will assign the labels locally in R2 router also indirect connector network check its routing table and indirect connector network it will assign the label it will start from 2000 so 2000 then 2001 2002 it will assign indirect connector network so the direct connector network it will not assign any label so likewise R1 router, R2 router, R3 router, R4 router and R5 router all the routers will assign the labels locally. Next the R1 router will send the LDP packet to R2 router. So the LDP is an label distribution protocol. Once you can enable MPLS in global mode it automatically enables LDP protocol. So through the LDP protocol only it will distribute the label label distribution protocol it will distribute the labels so in r1 router the so whatever the networks i can learn i can assign 
each and every network i can assign this label so it will distribute to r1 likewise r2 router i am assigning locally so i can assign this network i can assign locally this label likewise it will distribute to r1 router as well as r3 router so likewise r1 r2 and r2 to r3 and r3 to r4 r4 to r5 it will be distributing the label so let's we can check the configurations <coughs> so let's we can check the wireshark packet so in wireshark so just i will give ldp so there are lot of packets are capturing just filter so through ldp i can filter all the packets so this is the hello packet hello message so normally in hello packet all the routers so the ldp all the routers should be communicated through multicast status 224.0.0.2 ldp so first of all it will send that packet to hello packet to multicast status 224.0.0.2 here in this hello packet so in layer 2 information the physical interface <coughs> and this is an multicast address and this is an <coughs> physical source mac address next in layer 3 information the source ip and destination should be a multicast address so in U udp so the ldp comes under udp and ldp port number well known port number is 646 next in ldp protocol it will send is lsr id so in normally in ospf it automatically generate and router id so we can assign the router id as a manually otherwise it will be taking the router id manually so first of all it will first preference it will gives to loopback interface in loopback interface which ip which ip address is an highest that should be taken as an router id so if there is no loopback interface means it will take the physical interface in physical interface which ip address is an highest it will take it as a router id same concept in ldp so the lsr id so the lsr id is a label switch router <coughs> so once we can configure mpls means that each and every router should be an lsr id so we can identify that router label switch router id so here also it will give the first preference to loopback if there is no loopback means it will take it as a physical interface so in physical interface which ip is an highest it will take it as an lsr id so here r1 router R1 router show <coughs> IP interface brief. Here we can see <coughs> loopback interface. So it automatically first preference gives to loopback. So that's why only it will take it as an 1.1.1. So this should be take it as an LSR ID. Next in hello message. Here we can see hello message. It will send the IP version for transport address. So the IP version for transport address is what LSR ID. So the LSR ID equal to transport address by default. So if its LSR ID is 1.1.1.1 means the transport address also 1.1.1.1. If LSR ID is 2.2.2.2 means the transport address also 2.2.2.2. By default, LSR ID equal to transport address. Otherwise, we can manually assign the LSR ID and we can manually assign the transport address. That's we can see in later. <coughs> so here, IP version four. <coughs> so in IP version four, the transport address is in one dot one dot one dot one. 